In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about how you can manage your portfolio with algorithmic trading using token sets. I think it's a very exciting decentralized finance platform based on Ethereum. We will look at what it is, what are set tokens, what is set, how does it work, uh, which cryptocurrencies are used in token sets, what can you do with token sets, the different options, the types of robo sets, the types of trading strategies that are available to buy, how a moving average set is created, how it works, the advantages of token sets, the disadvantages and the tax implications of token sets. In my last video I talked a lot about decentralized finance and in this video I want to bring to you a very exciting platform that will help you enhance your portfolio, get a better return on investment on the long term by leveraging different trading strategies that work behind the scenes and you do not have to do anything apart from from buying the single ESC20 tokens at the beginning. So SET was created in November 2017 as a SET protocol and it's an emerging decentralized finance platform based on Ethereum. So all the tokens are ESC20 tokens. And basically the SET protocol is a uh, allows you to buy different baskets of tokens that performs a different function. Set Protocol is a tool to automate algorithmic trading strategies by buying a single ESC20 token. So you only have to choose the strategy that you want to use and you buy that strategy's ESC20 token. So each trading strategy is represented as a unique ERC20 token a called a set and the cryptocurrencies within that set are fully collateralized with different cryptocurrencies. The cryptocurrencies are Ethereum, then you've got wrapped Ethereum, which is an ERC20 token that is backed one by one by Ethereum. Then you've got the USDC, which is a stablecoin then you've got compounded USDC which is basically USDC but you get interest when you hold that particular stablecoin and you've got single collateral DAO, DAI, SAI and you've got wrapped Bitcoin which is an ESC20 token backed one by one by Bitcoin. An interesting part is you've got the advantages of uh, having an ESC20 token which you can use on the Ethereum blockchain, but it's backed one by one by Bitcoin, so it's got the store value of Bitcoin. So the solutions on a set protocol as following, you've got the social trading sets. Basically traders create their own sets based on different indicators and you can buy the different trading strategies as an ESC20 token. Then you've got robo sets which are predefined algorithmic trading sets such as moving average, RSI and so on. And then you've got traders who you can copy trade and see what kind of sets they're buying so you get an impression of what you can buy. These are the options and we'll be looking at robo sets first. The different robo sets available are you've got smart rebalancing where you've got for example 75% ETH and 25% USDC in your set and should the price of Ethereum rise then a little bit of the Ethereum will be sold so that the balance is again 75% and 25% USDC and the same as if Ethereum falls then a bit more Ethereum will be bought by the available USDC stablecoin in that set. Now with trend trading you're using uh, exponential moving averages and moving averages and you can maybe have uh, you can have Ethereum and another stablecoin or BTC and another stablecoin and that will sell and buy based on these indicators. We'll look at an example of a moving average set later on in the video. Now range bound uses RSI and RSI is a relative strength index indicator which highlights when an asset is overbought or oversold and the same with the moving average you've got here the asset here will be bought or sold depending on what the relative strength index is showing on the charts. Then you've got buy and hold sets which for example 50% uh, wrapped BTC and 50% wrapped ETH and this is very similar to the smart rebalancing where basically should the price of BTC rise exponentially and the, the um, 
the balance 50%, 50% is not there anymore. Then a little bit of BTC is sold so that the weighting is again 50% and 50%. But you've got many different options and you can select from those to choose the set that you think is going to outperform the market the best. This is an example of an Ethereum 20 day moving average a crossover set. So on the left, you've got wrapped Ethereum which is an ESC20s token which is backed one by one by Ethereum plus the USD stablecoin and plus the 20 day moving average indicator and all this together is then the Ethereum 20 day moving average crossover, crossover set ESC20 token and this is one token that you can buy and you don't have to buy this token and you've got this trading strategy and with this trading strategy when the price goes above the 20 day moving average a wrapped ethereum gets bought with the available usdc and when the price falls below the 20 day moving average a wrapped ethereum gets sold for usdc i think it's very interesting um approach having such trading strategy ESC20 token in your portfolio because it allows you to hedge against the risk of the price falling down. So we're on the um, Ethereum 20 day moving average crossover set. As I mentioned before this is the content of this ESC20 token ETH 20 day moving average crossover set. So you've got the wrapped Ethereum at the moment, the rebalance in such that all the money is in the wrapped Ethereum and none of the money is in USD stablecoin. With this chart, if we start back here on the 8th of August, as you can see the dotted blue line on the, the chart is the price of uh, wrapped Ethereum and as you can see when the price is falling as soon as it falls below the simple moving average the 20 day simple moving average it gets sold for the stable coin and when the token set has its value in the stable coin the price remains constant as the stable coin always has the same price and that means that you can hedge against the falling ethereum and on the 8th of September there's another rebalance because the price of Ethereum is going above the 20 day simple moving average so Ethereum gets bought back and it can profit from the price increasing. Now as you can see here the, the total value of the set increased to $322. Here we had another rebalance on the 24th of September. As you can see with the ETH 20s Macau, you only had minus 20%. Had you, had you kept Ethereum, only Ethereum during that time, you would have had minus 44% return on investment, which is not very good. Well, the advantages of token sets are it can save you a lot of time and effort. It's automated. The rebalancing is automated. There's 24 hour monitoring of your portfolio and there's no commitment on your part apart from selecting the certain sets you want to invest in. It's basically an automated strategy. It reduces the emotional risk involved in the market, reduced missed opportunities and there's instant diversification. You can stay in control of your portfolio with without having to do anything because everything happens behind the scenes. So if you're interested in learning how you can buy one of these ESC20 token set strategies, then hit that subscribe button as I'll be releasing a video showing you exactly how you can do that in the next few weeks. The only thing that you need to have to begin with the ESC20 token set strategies is uh, Ethereum capable wallet. But I'll keep that for the next video. I want to point out a few downsides of token sets because I think that's very important. One of the biggest downsides is token sets are very good for neutral and bearish markets. Meaning that in the long term you will have a return on investment but it won't be the highest return on investment possible since the token sets are not sold at the top when the price is at its highest but very often when it crosses an indicator which means a little bit of lost profit. But if you're looking for a Moon, Lambro and 10x investment, then you might be better off buying some random altcoin. But the chances of that performing well over the next 10 years is uh, slim to none. 
Another point I want to address, and that's not very sure, and that's the taxation when these rebalances happen. It's not very sure what the taxation regulation is. If, um, for example, Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum is rebalanced for a stable coin or bought back from a stable coin. So there are no clear guidelines about these rebalancing which are happening automatically in the token set. This might be something that someone that's living in America might have to think about because you've got much higher uh, tax regulations as maybe people living in other countries, uh, for example, European countries. So that was it for this video. Hope you learned something valuable. I think these token sets are a fantastic tool to use as a hedge against different bear markets and also very interesting as a decentralized finance platform and it just shows the opportunities that retail investors have in this space and that they can already benefit from using different algorithmic strategies that help them manage their portfolio um, passively without the retail investor having to do anything so you wouldn't have to do anything you just can buy these ERC20 tokens and benefit over a longer period of time of a higher return on investment so that was today's video hope you enjoyed it feel free to hit that red subscribe button to be part of the team and i'll be releasing a lot more fun and exciting videos of the decentralized finance space a lot more how to guide how to become more invested how to use the these tools and yeah improve your trading strategies your investment portfolios and so on so i'll catch you in the next video bye bye